The class of 2021 is full of amazing stories and accomplishments. Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara had the chance to sit down with some CCSD star graduates. Lucky for us, it was right here at the Vegas PBS studio. I want to thank all of you for making time out of your busy schedule as high school seniors to join me here for a chat. So I wanted just to really have a conversation and it gives me an opportunity on a couple things. I want to learn not only about this year, but then also for your 12 years um, as a student here in Clark County, because for me it's so important to hear your voice, to see what we can always do better. So I want to thank you for, for joining us, but let's start with some introductions. Well, hello everyone, my name is Sydney Turner. I'm a senior at Liberty High School. One of my many lists of volunteering or community service and I am an ID at BSU at Liberty High School and I'm attending Hampton University. Excellent, and forgot to give you a little, you can take your mask off because we're, we're social distancing just for when you speak so we can hear you. So, Alex. Hi everybody, uh, I'm so happy to be here with you all. I'm Alex Gallegos from El Dorado High School, and this year I served as the student member to the Nevada State Board of Education, and then next year I'll be attending American University in Washington, D.C. to study poli-sci. Excellent. And next? Uh, hi, I'm Kyra Larson. I'm from Wapa Valley High School, and I'm also the student body president for Wapa Valley High School. I was also the 4-H president for our senior group and uh, I play so been playing soccer for four years and I plan on attending Dixie Tech in St. George to study their digital media design. Excellent, thank you for joining us. Uh, Justin. Um, hello, my name is Justin. I attend Southwest Career and Technical Academy. I'm in the automotive program and I'm pretty involved in community service. I'm in HOSA NHS Key Club. I try to be involved with leadership, like vice, being a vice president of HOSA and I'm going to be attending Rose Holman Institute of Technology for Mechanical Engineering in my next four years. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome in. Nicola? Hello, my name is Nicola. I am a theater major at Del Sol Academy. Um, I have been running cross country, playing basketball and also track and field for the past four years. And um, after this, I'll be going to Elmhurst University. I, I really want to know a little bit about this past, I would say, 14, 15 months. Tell me a little bit about what this year, you know, kind of what you've missed, uh, what you've been able to be flexible. Uh, so tell me a little bit about this past year, what, it, what has happened to you and, and your friends and what you want to share with me as a superintendent. Well, this year has obviously been tough. We can't go to prom or grad night or just things like that. Um, what sucks for me is I'm involved in sports such as soccer and tennis. So I usually play outside of my school. Um, I got a USTA membership in the beginning of quarantine so I only got to play one tournament for one month, but at least I got two magazines from it in the past year. Yeah. <laughs> but um, regarding my volunteering, I'm obviously very involved with my community. I like to go to community center or Ronald McDonald house and just being stuck inside has really been a problem for me. So I try to help uh, my school and my community by doing online activities. Um, I'm the vice president of HOSA, so I try to make online opportunities for our members to get hours. I also try to host like fundraisers for Three Square or Blood Drives to just try to help the Las Vegas community during this tough time. Kyra, tell me a little bit about what this year has, you know, what you've missed, but then also what different skills that you've been able to pick up this past year? Yeah, I think it's a little different for me because I come from a rural town. So a lot of what we did that we weren't able to do with the school, we were able to rally our community together and do it different ways, which is why I became the 4-H president, was to hold activities for not just the seniors, but the whole school. Like we did some outside movies and we did like uh, water, kickball, like, and I think a new skill I picked up from that is being able to talk to like adults and like been able to like reach out to people more than I would in a regular school year because in the school year you just stay within the asking like the high school like staff mostly for stuff so i was able to reach out and like meet new members and it was really fun good thank you alex so i know you've been in meetings i've seen you in in google meets i've seen you obviously you know and i actually i saw you when we were interviewing for your principal you were your sot member uh hiring your new principal so tell me 
for sure. I have definitely been very involved and I think that this was a necessary change in a lot of ways um, mm. because of how it was before. I think that I was just um, too comfortable being in control of so many things at once. So I kind of had to lose control of a couple of things. Uh, so that was something that I learned this year. I also learned how to build a community uh, digitally, which I didn't think I would ever have to do that. Uh, but I'm involved in my school with student council a lot um, at my school level and at the state level. So I was able to collaborate with a bunch of people, even adults too, um, and build a community and really uh, bring people together even though they couldn't physically be together. Well, that's good. Nikala? Um, so for me, it was also really hard to stay in the house because the past four years, I'm always running around all the time. I would go to school and then have theater or track and then have to go to my theater community called Broadway in the Hood. I also did a lot of stuff for them while quarantine was kind of going on. We were doing TV shows on Facebook. Um, most of my community sadly didn't come from my school. I did most of my community on my own through social media. I set up a private story on Snapchat um, for a bunch of people who said they were going through tough times or people who just needed a check-in. So I would offer myself that time every day. There was a different activity. And on Wednesdays, we had wellness check Wednesdays, which I would send them a message. How are you doing? Send me an emoji, see how you guys are doing. And if they need to talk, I was there. Because sadly in high school, we don't really like to talk to adults, which is kind of sad. And I think we need to see more community there, but it was good to help out people. Well, so I'm glad you're talking to me um, as an adult. So no, thank you. But it's really so important to hear from all of you you know, the common themes, you, you just really got engaged just differently, um, which is the power of the beauty of our kids. So, so thank you for sharing. So now uh, when we look at what has been your biggest takeaway, what has been in, in the 12 years, if you've been here in Clark County School District for 12, 13 years, or if you moved here, what is your one big takeaway that you, you say, you know what, I've learned so much and I'm taking this with me? My biggest takeaway here in Clark County School District would be meeting the staff and the, like the teachers, the principal, the counselors here at Liberty High School. Um, it was a great experience because my counselor who actually nominated me for this star grad, um, he really helped me. He was one of the counselors that really helped me. He was there whenever I needed him, asked questions, any advice. Um, and just as the teachers, they would be there when I need help. Um, and we'll just, you know, be there whenever I need them. Good. Her? Um, I think my biggest takeaway was how much teachers really do care because the only reason my school was able to be like in, like, because we were in school full time and then the other half of the year, not full time, but hybrid. And then halfway through the year, we got to go back full time was because of our teachers fought for us and like really wanted us to be in there. They did. I got the email. So, so <laughs> your teachers were great. Yeah. So I think that's my biggest takeaway is that teachers really do care about you and they want to see you succeed. Good. My biggest takeaway is definitely time management and positivity throughout through everybody. Time management has been a really big thing even since I was in elementary school because I was always involved in so much stuff with school or just outside in the community. So being able to be on time for everything when you're on time, you get to ask questions if you're confused about something or you just get an even bigger and better experience. And then for positivity, whatever you put in the world, you're gonna get back, no matter what. So if you output positivity, positivity will come back to you and you just need to be like that as a person to everybody. Perfect, thank you. So 30 seconds, you're superintendent of the Clark County School District. What one thing you would change? Um, one thing I would really change is wellness checks and bullying throughout middle school and high school especially. Thank you. Justin? So if I was superintendent first, I would, I'm advocating for my school and like all the other tech schools, I would first just give sports to everyone. Got it. <laughs> my school doesn't have sports and people have been wanting it for the longest time. Thank you. Uh, I think I would change the way like some rules are cause and cause from a, I'm a rural school. So some of the rules that apply to some of the big city schools, that are applied to us, sometimes we don't really feel like they make sense. Yeah. So I feel like I would change how we look at city schools and rural schools that are in the same district. Got it. 
Alex? But I'm a huge advocate for mental health resources, so I think that we really need more school psychologists here uh, to help kids, and I think there's always more room in that area. Sydney, close us out here. What one thing, a superintendent of Clark County School District, what would you change? I would change, such as Alex said, um, wellness checks, such as wellness checks, mental health, bullying, also more um, information about scholarships and colleges. Well, you know, again, thank you for, for being here with me. It's so important for this community. I'm going to say this to our community. Our future in the Clark County School District is bright. We have phenomenal children that are leaving us. So again, congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Jara. To learn more about the CCSD Star graduates, head to ccsd.net, where many of the seniors you just met are featured.